Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at WebP, which is an image compression format. It's similar to your PNGs and your JPEGs, but it produces a much smaller file size. Uh, the only issue with this is which browsers support uh, WebP. At the moment, I think only Google, but the others look as though they're going to be supporting it soon. So it's something we we can use as long as we have a fallback in place. So uh, yeah, the video today is basically how we can use WebP uh, today uh, if we're serving to Google and how to provide a fallback for the other browsers uh, until they pick up support for WebP as well. So got Visual Studio Code here. Let's jump in and have a look at an example. Okay, so we've got Visual Studio here and we've got our two, fire, two images, uh, one being a WebP of our superhero here. And you can see I've embossed WebP in here so we know which image we're viewing. Uh, and also a PNG version. Um, now, you can, it's a loss, it's a loss E format. So you can make, um, the file size pretty much what you want depending on how much image quality you're wishing to lose well you're you're you can accept losing um you know you, this this image here is about a third of the size of this png so it's uh, an incredible saving in size if you can use webp um so let's uh, create a web page here just to host it we'll have um index.html and if i just put some boilerplate code in and bring that across. So let's do um, WebP demo. Okay, so let's start with trying to just display this um, this WebP image. So superhero dot WebP. Right. Okay. And if I now look in, if we can do a go live here then we can see our image coming up there. Let's give it a width 150, just so it fits a bit better. Okay, so it's working fine there in Google Chrome. Let's have a look in Internet Explorer. And no, that obviously doesn't handle WebP, so we don't get our image. Okay, what we can use is the, um, the picture tag, and that allows us to specify the source um, for our image and we can say source set equals and we can give it superhero.webp now what the browser will do is it will come in and look at these sources and the first one that it can handle is the one it will use uh, we need to give it a type as well so let's say webp there um, so if I copy that line and then do our PNG, then what the browser is going to do is first look and see if it can load the WebP. And if not, it will use the PNG. Um, so we need to keep our image tag in here. Because basically what this is going to do is if uh, the browser understands picture and it can find this source, it will use this source as the source here for the image. And if it can't understand when P, it will use this source as the source here for the image. Um, and if it's a browser that doesn't even understand picture, then it will just use this and we will need a PNG down there. So that should give us um, compatibility with all modern browsers and then the fallback of the PNG for older browsers. And as we can see up here, um, in Internet Explorer, we're now getting our image coming up and we can see it's that it's the PNG in there and uh, Chrome is still using the uh, the WebP version. Um, so there you go. Just a quick one there on how to use WebP uh, today. Hope that is uh, informative. Uh, if you like these videos, click that subscribe below, give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.